Uh, I have a 70s oddball movie I'd like to bring up as the next one. Um, so I'm sure everybody knows I'm a big fan of Alejandro Hodorowsky, and I love his movie El Topo. That kind of invented the midnight movie and invented the acid western, like this more psychedelic allegorical take on the genre, which I think really shows like just how versatile the western is that you can do stuff like that with it like take it almost anywhere and hybridize it with almost any other genre i saw a movie fairly recently that i wanted to throw in as another possible double feature this one i think would pair very well with el topo if you're a fan of it and i've already talked about it a lot so i wanted to mention one that doesn't get brought up as much it's called greaser's palace and it's directed by robert downey senior who is one of my favorite filmmakers of the 60s and 70s underground. And I think he doesn't give it, get enough recognition. I'll try and explain this one. <laughs> it's Robert Downey Sr. and his movies are famously very difficult to summarize and explain. Uh, but he, uh, he is well known for his 60s underground movies that he made in New York. Uh, so stuff like Chafed Elbows, No More Excuses, most famously Putney Swope, which is a great movie, a great underground film from the 70s or late 60s, somewhere around there. Um, Greaser's Palace is one of the first slightly more mainstream films that he did, though not quite. He certainly had more resources making this one than he had on his previous ones. It's a Western done very much in the style of something like Hodorowsky's El Topo, it takes place in this desolate western zone run by this basically this despot called Mr. Greaser, who just sort of kills townsfolk indiscriminately, runs the place with an iron fist. But everything is very strange. Um, like he has a saloon where entertainment comes and performs, and he kind of seems to have some sort of tie with the entertainment industry, which doesn't actually exist yet, but that seems to be part of the allegory happening here um he like he keeps his mom in a cage in his house and like has conversations with her from time to time <laughs> and she's like so happy to be there um parallel to this the, there is a christ figure that just sort of appears outside of town one day he's dressed in like this the sharp purple suit um and he wants to go to jerusalem to get into show business and he sort of wanders into Greaser's town and starts performing miracles and becomes like a local celebrity. It doesn't really develop anywhere. And I think that's kind of intentional on Robert Downey Sr.'s part. I think he's kind of trying to confound the viewer with nonsense. It, it's sort of, I guess if it has a development, it's about the Christ figure who's named Jesse, uh, sort of becoming a celebrity and then being corrupted by his own celebrity but a lot of the point of it is that it goes nowhere and that it doesn't really have any point um i would say robert downey senior is kind of like a hippie lewis carroll like what makes his movie so fun and entertaining is that they're just the most deliriously creative nonsense <laughs> and all of the jokes are bizarre and absurd but they're so bizarre and absurd in such specific ways that it's like nobody but Robert Downey Sr. could have come up with something like this. <laughs> uh, one of the running gags is a character who's constantly being killed and then resurrected by Jesse and then killed again in a different way and then resurrected again and, <laughs> and killed again in a different way. And every time he comes back, he wants to describe the afterlife to people and it's always the same thing. He says, I was swimming in a giant rainbow with millions of babies. And then all of a sudden I turned into a perfect smile. And it's just like, what does that mean? Oh, this sounds incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what the whole movie is. Um, and the thing about Robert Downey Sr., who yes, is the father of Robert Downey Jr. What? Obviously, so that's his big tie to fame if you've never heard of him. And Robert Downey Jr. actually is in this movie as, as a young child. He has a cameo. Um, but that's sort of Robert Downey Sr.'s humor style and his technique is he sort of, he has an un, unusual ability to create things with a lot of technique and a lot of craft, 
that feel as if they should be meaningful. But when you start to think about what they actually mean, you realize the whole thing's kind of a practical joke on you as the viewer. And I think some people would be incredibly frustrated by that. I really love it. I find his movies incredibly entertaining and incredibly funny. That sounds right up my alley. I um, I recently watched Putney Swope and loved that. Uh, like the the <laughs> it's got the, the stuff in that the kind of esoteric weird humor of that movie that's like I, I don't know what it's based in but it's so strange and and bizarre i just i just fell in love with it i've been meaning <laughs> to watch more of his movies uh so that, that probably be will be the next one i seek out yeah um, another recommendation if uh if you're exhaling a lot of green smoke you'll probably really love downey senior's movies <laughs> Very well said. Yeah. <laughs>